we are going to continue on to another problem. We have 3 fourths minus 3 sixteenths. Now the first thing I want to do is I'm going to stack up these problems. So I'm going to write 3 over 4 minus 3 over 16. Now, I don't know about you, ladies and gentlemen, but it seems a lot easier to look at when I stack up my fractions. Um, can we do it from left to right, you may be asking? Yeah, we can, but it seems to cause more mistakes to be made. So we want to complete this from top to bottom, stacking up our fractions. So our first step is to find the least common denominator. In this case, we'll use 16 because I know that uh, 4 can divide into 16 and 16 can divide into 16. So 16 times 1 equals 16. 3 times 1 equals 3. 4 times 4 equals 16. 3 times 4 equals 12. Now I have my equivalent fractions. I look back at my operation. I am to subtract 12 minus 3 equals 9. My denominators are the same, so I keep it the same. 9 over 16 is my final answer. Now I take a look at my answer. Is it really my final answer? Is there a number that can divide evenly into top and bottom so this fraction can be in simplest form? No, there isn't. So 9 over 16 is my final answer.